In this video, I want to show you how gradient of a line is related to tan of the angle made by the uh, tan of the angle made by the line with the y-axis. So what does that mean? Okay, so let me draw. Uh, let me draw a line. Okay, see this is the y-axis. I'm taking some numbers so that I get neat answers. So this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. And so this is a point, which is at a distance of root 3. And say this is negative 1. Now if you draw a line, say this is a line that is joined these two points. Okay, the question is, what's the gradient of this line? Okay, so, well, you can say this is the rise and this is the run. So the rise is negative. Okay, so from this point, you can say the rise, okay, now we'll do this way. From this point, the rise is positive. So the run is positive, and the rise is also positive. So the gradient, M is rise over run. So this rise is root three, and the run is also run is 1. Well, this is root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Now, if someone is asking, what's the angle that this makes with the x-axis, with the positive arm of the x-axis? So what's this angle? Well, that's easy. So you have to use just so katoa. So for this angle, this is opposite, and this is adjacent. So we can say tan theta is root 3 over 1, which is root 3. Now, then of course you have to find the tan inverse. So, tan inverse of tan inverse of root 3. If you know, if you have watched my previous videos, you can see this is going to be 60 degrees. So let me show this on the calculator. I've already done that. Let me do it again. So, shift tan bracket shift root 3 is going to be 60 degrees. Okay, so now why did I do this? The reason is, if you want, if suppose, even if you don't know these coordinates, the gradient of this line, so you can say m, I hope you can see m tan theta. So can you see uh, m is equal to tan theta? Okay, we have proved a very interesting result. The gradient of a line is basically tan of the angle the line makes with the positive arm of the x-axis. I'll repeat it again. Basically, if you want to find, even if you don't know this or this, if you know this angle, whatever that angle is, the gradient of this line is basically the tan of this angle. Okay, or conversely, if you find tan, tan, of 60, that will be the gradient. So let me show you. So tan, if you press tan 60, is this. And if you press root 3, shift root 3, which is the gradient rise over run, is the same thing. Okay, so now what happens if you have a situation like this? You have, that's, suppose you have a line like this. And say this is, this point is say, let's say this is 10, and this is, let's say, say this is 5. So here the gradient is negative. So m is what? m is rise over run. So this is the rise, this is the run. So rise is negative 5 over 10, which is negative 0 0.5. Negative 0 0.5. Now there's a relationship. If you find this angle, let's find this angle. What is this angle? Okay. So that angle, if this angle, this is again the angle this line makes with the positive arm of the x-axis. So let us prove that the tan of theta, and this should be tan theta. Okay. So that's what we're going to prove. So we know, so if this is theta, 
this angle is going to be 180 minus theta. 180 minus theta is because these two add up to uh, 180, the angles on a straight line. So again, using Sokatoa for this angle, this is opposite. So phi is the opposite side and 10 is the adjacent side. So can I say 10, 180 minus theta is equal to opposite, which is 0.5, 5 over 10, which is 0.5. So I can say 180 minus theta is equal to 10 inverse of 0.5, 10 inverse of 0.5. Okay, so let's do it. So you go shift. 10 inverse of 0.5 is 26.56. I want the whole number. So I can say 180 minus theta is equal to 126 point whatever. I'm going to save that as A. So theta is going to be 180 minus A. I hope you understand. Okay, so let's use the calculator. Save this as A, so press this key, alpha A, enter. Now you can go 180 minus alpha A gives you this angle, 153.4. I can say theta is equal to 153.4 something. I'm going to save that as B. So if you find 10 of B, that should be negative 0 0.5. That's what I want to sh show. So let me save this as alpha of B. And then you go 10 of alpha B should be negative 0 0.5. Okay, so this is a rule. This can be useful in many other situations. If you know this angle, or even if you know this angle, you can find this angle and the gradient of this line you can just find by finding the tan of this angle.